Number of participants seventy five. No. Am I audible? Yes, sir, you are audible. Okay. Now we may start the program. Okay. Okay. Good morning, everyone. And I, Dr. Apul Kumar Das, IQC coordinator of Bhattar College, Dantan. I welcome you, everyone, and welcome to the uh, MLS on Intellectual Property Rights, the program which is being held today. We have with us Mr. Subham Har Singh as speaker of the program today for this webinar. Mr. Singh is a group A gadgeted officer and a examiner of patents and designs the patent office Kolkata. We'll hear from him about what are party rights, what is patent, what is copyright text? And uh, we, will, we will also hear from him how can we apply for the patent, etc. Uh, Mr. Singh can speak in Bangla, so I may request him to speak English and describe the matters in Hindi. <coughs> Before commencement of this program, I would like to request Dr. Dilip Kumar Dulai, senior most teacher of our college, speak something as his inaugural speech on, a, on behalf of the institution. Hello, Dr. Dilip, Dr. sir. Ah, so now you are Okay, you are audible. Now, now you must start your speech. Ah, I I will start. In the absence of my of our principal, the authority entrusted to me presiding over the important, significant of today's program. So, first of all, on behalf of the Water College. I welcome to all participants to our intellectual property rights awareness program. It is organized jointly by our NSS unit and ICQAC, our college, and hosted by PIPO Kolkata. Especially, I want to congratulate and welcome to Mr. Subham Or Singh, examiner of patent and design, IPO Kolkata. He is a Group A gadgeted officer. I am thankful to him for his content to attend the uh, or his consent to attend this program as resource person. We all will be enlightened by his valuable speech and we hope that all concepts 
and process of application related to intellectual property rights cleared after the will be cleared after the program generally intellectual property rights is a very important idea in modern day commercial economy who gets who gets the i my ipr that is intellectual property rights who get how he gets ipr and in what condition ipr is approved by which organization all issues will be discussed in this program intellectual property rights refers to creation of certain creation of the mind such as innovations inventions artistic art design symbols names and images used in commerce in concept there are four types of intellectual property rights namely patents trademark and copyrights and trade secret generally intellectual property rights gives rise to a creator for exclusive use and ownership and protect him against unlawful use of use by others intellectual property rights is given for encouraging cre creator to create some things new which something new which enrich our modern life it is a legal <coughs> protection for a specific invention he can in case Ma uh, he can earn money by royalty or by giving some uh, giving others use rights now we will hear all the related issues from mr subham once again i thanks i want to thanks to him for spending his valuable time with us that's all thank you okay thank you sir thank you very limited, limited time i i will try my best to cover every important topics related to intellectual property rights so uh, i uh, first of all i would like to ask a question like i am audible to everyone please confirm yeah yeah okay and then i request yes, you all yes. please uh, mute your microphone so that there will not be any uh, problem in delivery of this session and uh, so we shall start the session so our se uh, session is about intellectual uh, awareness on intellectual property rights so first question is what is intellectual property rights so let's understand what is intellectual property right so intellectual property right basically is uh, consist of uh, three words intellectual property and right so let's understand what is a property so properties uh, can be of two type uh, first is tangible properties and second is intangible properties tangible properties are those which can be touched and feel like gold car house furniture and other equipments like uh, our basic uh, properties which we uh, see in our daily lives are all tangible properties and apart from that there are intangible properties these intangible properties are creation of mind or creation of human intellect and their uh, intellectual property come into existence the examples of some intangible properties are inventions literary and artistic works like novels designs symbols and many more so <laughs> basically the uh, intellectual property is an intangible right that cannot be uh, touched or held but it is a creation of human mind and to secure and to protect that intellectual property we uh, we will 
we will uh, request our patent office will uh, this office will give your intellectual property right so this is, uh, that is intellectual property right so there may be many types of intellectual property rights like patents patent patent is granted for some inventions designs design is given for uh, some aesthetic looks of some goods and like that trademarks geographical indication copyrights sicld design we will see these all the intellectual property rights one by one so let's look uh, one example of intellectual property in a single device like you can see there is a laptop having some logo on its back the logo of apple that logo is a, an apple sign that is trademark of that company so this is an type, this is a type of intellectual property right and the similar manner there is a led display this led di display must have a patent so this is also an intellectual property right and the body of laptop has a specific design a specific as uh, aesthetic look so it will come under design this design is also an intellectual property right in the similar manner when we purchase a laptop or any other gadget we will receive an uh, we will receive a user manual user manual will consist of some guidelines and many other things so this user manual must have some copyright and apart from that there must be some uh, integrated circuit on this laptop ic this is ic uh, there will be some specific layout of this ic and this will come under sicl design which is also an intellectual property right so uh, let's uh, let's uh, understand what is intellectual property right so all the human beings have some brain they will have some resources they will apply some labor on that and that will result into property this property is what this property is known as intellectual property and to protect this intellectual property they will uh, provided intellectual property right so what is the importance and significance of intellectual property rights intellectual property rights helps us to protect our intellectual property to exclude others from using our intellectual property without our permission to utilize commercialize and earn from the our intellectual property in many manners we will see this in upcoming slides so how one can utilize and commercialize its uh, intellectual property right it can be done in many ways first of all if somebody has some intellectual property it can it can be used for its own use only he can license or assign his uh, intellectual property to some uh, someone other and and from that he can franchise the intellectual property and in the similar manner he can merchandise that intellectual intellectual property to someone else and and from that so what is the importance of uh, intellectual property uh, for a common person and for a business man for a common person uh, an intellectual property may be matter of pride like somebody have some uh, patent in his name it will be matter of pride for him like he has some patent on his name and it will be also helpful in his academics like if he has some patents in his name then maybe it can uh, maybe it will be useful for his academic purposes on the other hand for a businessman if he has some intellectual property in his name he can commercialize it and earn from it and he, uh, if he has some trademark in his name it will definitely increase his brand value of his company and he can earn and invest from his intellectual property right so let us look uh, first our first intellectual property right that is patents so what is patent patent is a grant by sovereign or state to a person giving exclusive right to stop others from making using exercising vending and importing an invention for a limited period in exchange for disclosing it in a patent specification such that anyone having average skill in the art can reproduce the invention okay is there any problem no problem okay let's continue so basically patent uh, if some in inventors invented something so what will he do he will go to patent office and he will show what he has invented in a complete specification and patent office by uh, by seeing his uh, patent uh, uh, complete specification give him an exclusive right this exclusive right uh, will stop others from making using 
exercising building and importing that uh, we mentioned and uh, the patent holder will have an exclusive right so this is a right to exclude others from using your inventions like if you, if you have patent in your name patent in your name then it is your right to exclude others from using your invention that's why it is called a negative rights uh, in the similar uh, manner uh, the owner has a qualified right to use the invention this these are some famous inventions like uh, phonograph was had uh, invented by thomas alva edison telephone was invented by graham bell airplane was by brother uh, red brothers and rabbit vaccination was uh, invented by louis pasteur and in the similar manner pencil was uh, invented by alexander fleming here you can see uh, the picture of the man is uh, the man is uh, george alfred de penny he was the first patent holder in the india uh, he was from kolkata and he was in uh, he was a civil engineer and he filed a patent application for this efficient pankha pulling machine this is the diagram shows the efficient and efficient pankha pulling machine basically the invention was very basic but it was the first patent application and first patent application which was granted in india so the name of uh, the guy is jarl alfred de penny this is another famous invention you can see here led stumps which is uh, used in crickets very frequently uh, you can the i want to tell you like the, the price of these is led stumps in in lakhs the uh, device is very basic but due to some due to patent filing and patent in the name of the inventor the cost of the uh, this device is very high this is uh, also an aspect of patent these are some other famous indian inventions like this nano car hepatitis vaccine and this jaipur fruit one of the basic feature of these uh, indian inventions like these all indian inventions are less costly in the price these are some other uh, devices which can be patented this is to show you like this is a simple device this baby umbrella you can see here this is not a rocket science this is very simple device which is used as being used for baby bathing so this is to show you like uh, for patent filing the invention need not to be very high fi very rocket science like invention very simple invention like this baby umbrella can be can also be patented so this was like this so let's was uh, a video uh, through video we will better uh, understand what is patent us dik ki shuruwa har din ki tarah hui thi आई पी नानी कराटे की प्रैक्टिस कर रही थी उनकी घड़ी में कंट बसी है अरे ये तो आविष्कार कुमार का मैसेज है मुझे तुरंत उसके पास जाना होगा और आई पी नानी छोटू को फोन लगा हेलो छोटू तू अभी आ जा हमें कहीं पहुंचना है आ, अभी आया नानी नानी हम कहा जा रहे हैं हम जा रहे हैं आविष्कार कुमार के लैब में यूनिवर्सिटी में मेरे फेवरेट स्टूडेंट रह चुका है और अब एक साइंटिस्ट है मेरी पौधी का घड़ी भी उसी की इन्वेंशन है अरे आ, आ, आप, आप आ गए तुमने बुलाया तो आना ही पड़ेगा और ये मेरा नाती है छोटू क्या नानी मेरा नाम आदित्य है छोटू नहीं हाई <laughs> <laughs> आदित्य आविष्कार क्या इमरजेंसी है मैं आपको नई इन्वेंशन दिखाना चाहता हूँ कैस करो मैंने क्या बनाया होगा हवा में उड़ती कार नहीं मैं बोलू मैं बोलू कोई ऐसी मशीन जिससे हम गायब हो जाए बिल्कुल भी नहीं अब बहुत हो गया अब बताओ ना तुमने क्या इन्वेंट किया है मैंने बनाई है एक मशीन क्या जी हाँ एक टाइम मशीन जिससे हम अतीत और भविष्य में 
आप बताओ आप आप कौन से साल में जाना चाहते हो मुझे 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 नानी का बचपन देखना है चलो 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 ये तो मेरे घर के पीछे वाले मैडम अरे वाह नानी आप बचपन से ही रॉकिंग हो अम्मी वापिस जाना इसमें अभी ज्यादा फ्यूल नहीं है ये तो सचमुच बहुत ही ब्रिलियंट इन्वेंशन है अब तुम तो सबसे पहले इसे पेटेंट करो पेटेंट करने में झंझट बहुत है मेरे पास तो इतना पेशेंस भी नहीं है अब मैं अपना काम करूंगा या पेटेंट ऑफिस के चक्कर में ये तो बहुत ही सिंपल है पता है मैंने एक जलेबी बनाने वाले मशीन का आविष्कार किया अभी कुछ दिन पहले ही मैंने www.ipindia.nic.in पर जाकर पेटेंट फाइल किया है छोटू ठीक कह रहा है अब सरकार ने सारा प्रोसेस बहुत ही आसान कर दिया है तुम अपनी एप्लीकेशन ऑनलाइन भी फाइल कर सकते हो तो। और तो और वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग से हियरिंग भी हो जाएगी लेकिन जो सालों साल वेट करना पड़ता है उसका क्या अब ये बात बहुत पुरानी हो गयी है आज की तारीख में भारत सरकार का प्रयास है कि 18 महीनों में ही पेटेंट ग्रांट हो जाए उसके बाद कोई टेंशन नहीं कोई भी तुम्हारे इस आविष्कार को इस्तेमाल नहीं कर सकता हाँ अगर तुम चाहो तो एक फीस लेकर किसी को लाइसेंस कर सकते हो अपने आविष्कार को यूज करने के लिए ऐसा क्या तुम्हें आज ही अपना पेटेंट फाइल करता हूँ हाँ <laughs> अब देखता हूँ कौन मेरे इन्वेंशन को चोरी करता है भारत सरकार हमेशा आपके हक के लिए आपके साथ है अपनी बौद्धिक संपदा को सुरक्षित करें और गर्व से आगे बढ़ने आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड पेट इन वेरी वेल फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो लेट्स कंटिन्यू so this slide shows the basic uh, piece of e filing in uh, indian rupees uh, of patents like if you uh, if you have invented something then what will be the fees to apply for a patent so uh, for a natural person like a single person uh, it will be like 1600 basic fees for form 1 and there will be form a request of examination that will be for about 4000 so for a uh, natural person it will be around 5 5600 and for a company or an institute the it will be like 28000 the committee 28000 so this was to uh, get some idea about fees our next intellectual property is designs so let uh, let us see what is design so design uh, it shows the uh, ornamental or aesthetic aspect of an article it shows the feature of shape configuration pattern ornament or composition of lines or colors applied to any article whether in two dimensional or three dimensional or in both forms by any industrial process or means whether manual mechanical or chemical separate or combined which in the finished article appeal to and are judged solely by the eye the most important thing is uh, this uh, this should be judged by eye so you can see here this is uh, design of a sari design of a fan bag and machine washing machine so type of a design is for 10 years and it can be extended up to 15 years like 10 plus 5 years 15 years and that means if you have applied for design of a product if you are granted the design then it will be for 10 years and after 10 years it can be extended up to 5 more years that is 15 years So here you can see these are the bottles. The task, uh, the purpose of a bottle is to carry the liquid. But what makes every bottle different? The design of this bottle, the look of this bottle. So uh, this all look and aesthetic feature of these bottles comes under design, which is an intellectual property right. 
these are some other design uh, designs of uh, an artist like this table lamp inhalers and these other designs you can see here we have seen like uh, the design for an article can be granted in the similar manner design for a set of articles can also be granted a set means a number of articles of the same general character oddly sold together or in intended to be used together all bearing the same designs like this pair of shoes this sofa set tea set and this jewelry set this uh, set of articles also can be granted design this is the certificate of design this is uh, when you register for a design of a product you will uh, get this this type of certificate so this was all about design our next intellectual property right is trademarks so let us see what is trademark so basically trademark is any word name symbol or device or any combination of them is trademark what is the use of trademark it identifies and distinguishes the source of the goods and services of one trader from those of others like when we purchase a shoe a pair of shoe and we see the trademark of adidas uh, it will assure us like this uh, the quality of the good will be good so let's let us see what is the function and importance of trademarks it will provide exclusive monopoly over class of goods or services it will allow a business entity to build public goodwill and brand reputation if we are talking about like when we will purchase the shoes of uh, adidas it will uh, uh, the goodwill of adidas is in our mind it will it will identifies the source origin of goods or services and it will finally it will assure customers about quality of goods and services what are the subject matters of trademarks these are the some subject matters of trademark like trademark itself including service marks like uh, trademark of this google you can see here trade names trade name is also same things and this collect collective marks and the certification marks like this bureau of indian standards certification marks tagline slogans like uh, tagline of this pepsi ye dil mange more shapes shape of this bottle sound marks like sound marks like when you open a nokia mobile then you you'll you will get a sound that will come under sound marks you must have seen this two marks on various products you use in daily life this tm mark and this r mark so what is difference between this tm and r mark both are related to trademark only the basic difference is uh, between these two like when we see a tm on a product that means this is the trademark is un either unregistered or application is pending and you will see this r in the circle mark only when the trademark is registered so this is the basic difference i hope you understand that so this was all about trademarks let us see what is copyright this is our next intellectual property right so basically what is copyright copyright is uh, the copyright allows the owner to choose the base his or her copyrighted works are made available to the public the basic uh, job to job of copyright is to prevent unauthorized copying or reproduction like somebody if if somebody have written some uh, poem poetry or novel then he will he will uh, register for a copyright and it will prevent unauthorized copying or reproduction of the that uh, poem or poem or <laughs> okay what are the subject matter of copyright that means uh, for which copyright can be applied literary works like i have said some books novels and poems or that copyright can be applied artistic works like these paintings some dramatic works as you can see here and some musical works like songs music sound recording works and like for movies also copyright can be obtained what is the term of protection for a copyright uh, term of protection for copyright so if you have uh, registered a copyright for literary dramatic artistic and musical works so term will be life of author plus 60 years plus 60 years and that means when uh, death of author occur from that date six, up to 60 years and likewise for films and sound recording it will be 60 years from date of publication of that copyright document and for broadcast reproduction right it will be 25 years from the broadcast of performance right it will be 50 years from the year following the year in which performance is completed 
so for that reason only when you uh, purchase some very old like like uh, the books of uh, some author who have died six, more than 60 years ago ago then uh, you can clearly see the price of that book is uh, cheaper than like new books that is the reason only because the royalty uh, for that book is not going to pay to author because the term of uh, copyright has been over so this was all about copyright our next uh, uh, intellectual property right is sicld that is stand for semiconductor integrated circuit circuit design layout designs let us see what is sicld basically sicld is made up of two words uh, two phrases first phrase is semiconductor integrated circuits that means a product having transistor and other circuitry elements inseparably formed are inside a semiconductor a insulating material designed to perform an electronic circuitry function so basically sic what we see basically in not uh, some electronic devices like tv and other uh, electronic devices and layout design that that is specific layout of transistors and other circuitry elements in that semiconductor integrated circuits so basically sicld is uh, the unique unique layout design of trans, uh, transistors and some basic elements on that circuits that semiconductor integrated circuits is known as sicld and for that unique design sicld is obtained the station of layout design is uh, layout design is for a period of 10 years from the date of obligation filing at first commercial exploitation that is term of sicld you can see here what uh, what is uh, circuit integrated circuit you must have seen this these are some resistors and other chips or chips these resistors transistor diodes and this the specific and unique design layout design of this can be uh, registered under sicld so these are basic of advanced electrical electronics and it technologies this was all about sicld next we will see our next intellectual property right that is geographical indication let us understand geographical indication by this video ab it nani sangeet va जो छोटी दिन से मिला तो वाओ नानी आपको बिल्कुल छाए हुए हैं आपके सामने तो मधुबाला को भी कॉम्प्लेक्स हो जाए मस्का लगाना बंद कर ये बता तुझे क्या चाहिए नानी आपने तो मेरा दिल ही तोड़ दिया क्या क्या ना सा नाड़ना सा बच्चा अपने नानी को कॉम्प्लीमेंट भी नहीं दे सकता मुझे कुछ नहीं चाहिए बस आपकी हाथ की वो स्पेशल वाली चाय पी है बस इतनी सी बात कर लिए इतना नहीं नानी आप सचमुच बहुत ही रॉकिंग लग रही हो ये साड़ी आप पर बहुत ही अच्छी लग रही हो अरे ये तो स्पेशल लखनवी चिकनकारी है लखनवी चिकनकारी पूरी दुनिया में मशहूर है ये अपनी खूबसूरत और बारीक एम्ब्रॉयडरी के काम के लिए फेमस है लेकिन पता है इसकी सबसे बड़ी खासियत क्या है ये रजिस्टर्ड जीआई है जीआई वो क्या होता है नानी जीआई का मतलब होता है जियोग्राफिकल इंडिकेशन हिंदी में जिसे भौगोलिक उपदर्शन कहते हैं ये किसी समुदाय का बौद्धिक अधिकार है वो विरासत जिन्हें प्रोटेक्ट और एनकरेज करने की बहुत आवश्यकता है मुख्यतः इन टाइप्स में रजिस्टर्ड होती है नेचुरल गुड्स मैन्युफैक्चर गुड्स टेक्सटाइल हैंडीक्राफ्ट फूड स्टॉक चल अब ना किचन में चलते हैं और गर्मा गर्म चाय बनाते हैं किचन की ओर जाते हुए नानी ने छोटू को अपना देश घुमा दिया छोटू जी नानी ये देख ये पेंटिंग देख ये एक मधुबनी पेंटिंग है बिहार की और ये है हिमाचल की कांगड़ा पेंटिंग तेरे नानू को देश की कला और संस्कृति से जुड़ी हुई चीजों को इकट्ठा करने का बहुत शौक है अच्छा ये कठपुतलियाँ देख रहा है 
ये राजस्थान की है इसके समाज घर से बसर ठोकरा आंध्र प्रदेश से तिरुपति लड्डू असम से मूगा सिल्क नागालैंड से नागा मिर्च और मध्य प्रदेश के बाघ प्रिंट ये सब रजिस्टर्ड जी आई थे okay. ये हमारे देश की कला और संस्कृति का प्रतीक है हमारे देश में हुनर और कला का इतना भंडार है कि अभी से ही तीन सौ ऐसी ज्यादा रजिस्टर्ड जी आई है वाओ नानी चल अब कुछ चाय 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 बना 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 यस बॉस पता है चाय इतनी पसंद है की चाय ये देश की सबसे पहली रजिस्टर्ड जी है जो 2004 में रजिस्टर्ड हुई थी लेकिन नानी एक बात बताओ इस जी से फायदा क्या होता है देखो छोटो ज्यादातर जी गांव के समुदाय के होते हैं इनसे कारीगरों बुनकरों किसानों की आमदनी बढ़ती है उनको अपनी मेहनत का सही दाम मिलता है और उन वस्तुओं की डिमांड भी बढ़ती है साथ साथ खरीदने वालों को भी विश्वास हो जाता है कि वो एक जेनुअन चीज खरीद रहे हैं वैसे नानी मुझे एक आइडिया आया अरे बात छोटो तेरे को आइडिया Yes, नानी अगले महीने फॉरेन से मेरे कुछ दोस्त आ रहे हैं क्यों ना मैं उन्हें हमारे देश के कुछ सुंदर जय प्रोडक्ट्स गिफ्ट में दू ये तो बहुत ही अच्छा आइडिया है छोटो उन्हें ये चीजें जरूर पसंद आएंगी और हमारे देश की कला का नाम भी होगा देखा नानी आपकी संगत में मैं कितना इंटेलिजेंट हो गया हूँ ये बात तो है <laughs> और इससे एक बार फिर I P Nani ne. I hope you understand this informative video. So let us see what is geographical uh, geographic indications G I. So a ge uh, geographical indication is an indication that identifies a product that have a specific geographical origin and possesses qualities or reputation that are due to that origin. You must have uh, heard about uh, Darjeeling tea. That is a G I product. These are some other G I products. Let us see some other GI products here. This uh, I have talked about Darjeeling tea. This is Marka uh, Makrana marbles from which uh, Taj Mahal is made. This is Ratlami Sev, Panchipuram silk, and apart from that, at Kutli of Rajasthan, bath prints, Bengal Pat Chitra, Valli paintings, pottery ware, Cheriyal paintings, and many others. These are some famous GI tags. So basically, GI tags is not. given to an individual it is given to a community so this is a basic difference of gi uh, gi tax from other intellectual property rights other intellectual property rights can be given to an individual but gi tax cannot be given to an individual it must be given to some community so we have seen all the intellectual property rights one by one so let us see by this video Is, uh, how IP is involved in our daily life, but we either we notice or we not notice, but it is uh, involved in our daily life. Let us see via this video.
so i please everywhere i hope from today you will notice it in your daily life in your da uh, daily routine and uh, and you will probably write so let us talk about some uh, validity of some uh, intellectual property rights like for patents it is 20 years from the uh, uh, term like this is 28 terms for patents there is nothing this is important thing there is nothing called global uh, global or international patent like if you have uh, invented something then you have to you have to uh, receive different patent in different countries like you have to apply in india also and you have to in, uh, apply in america also separately in the similar manner uh, for design it is 10 year plus 10 uh, year plus 5 years we have talked about this for trademarks it can be initially it is for 10 years and for after 10 years it can be ex uh, extended to indefinite times like 10 years plus 10 years plus 10 years or indefinite indefinite times in the, in the similar way for gi it is also 10 plus 10 plus 10 in or indefinite uh, period of time for copyright we have seen like for other for different uh, materials for like literary and others there is different uh, validity of copyrights so who can apply for these intellectual property property rights we have seen like all individual person can apply for intellectual property rights apart from gi we have talked about this like gi is given to a community not for not to a individual uh, individual person so uh, any individual person can apply for uh, any intellectual property right apart from gi or any other legal representative person including firm partnership small entity and body corporate can apply for that intellectual property right so all ip rights are territorial in nature like if you have if you have received a patent in india so effect of that right will be in india only that is the meaning of the sentence so these are the important points to remember so if you have uh, if you have some intellectual property so first protect it then publish it like if you have some written some poem or written some novel then first you should apply for copyright then you should publish it after publishing there uh, uh, after publishing uh, intellectual property right may be lapsed so right side territorial nature we have seen this registration is done by sovereign authority like government of india right for limited period of time there is no automatic relief renewal fees <laughs> may be paid for some iprs appointment of patent agent is not compulsory that is the important point so let us talk about some career opportunities intellectual property rights there are some government jobs like examiner of patents and designs examiner of trademarks and gi examiner of copyrights and some other uh, career opportunities are also here like patent agents trademark agents research fellowships and some patent litigation and other opportunities in private sector these are some uh, these are the contact details for some further training uh, in the topic uh, this is the institute of the government institute rajiv gandhi national institute of intellectual property management rgniapm this is uh, located in nagpur for further any further queries and information you can contact here so thank you if you have some queries you can ask thanks mr subham har singh thanks for your presentation about the topic you have nicely described about uh, patent design trademarks semiconductor integrated circuit processing uh, and uh, geographical indicator so uh, now we may ask uh, questions from the audience if uh, any question is there from any uh, student and teacher now now they may ask Uh, sir, I have a query. Uh, is there yes, any patent on the the uh, theoretical work, like uh, some programming in a in a computer or app development? Sorry, sir, but your voice is not clear. So, can you ask the question in chat box? It will be very good for everyone because voice is not clear here. Uh, can I audible? Ah, yes, yes. No, can. Uh, is there any patent for theoretical programming 
or app development uh, for mobile or something so it will come under copyright only because uh, in patent act itself it is uh, the uh, patent acts in the section 3 of patent act some uh, the programming per se is not patentable it is written there the program per se is not patentable so it will come under copyright if you have some program it will uh, you it, this can be protected uh, this intellectual property right can be protected in copyright itself if uh, from your program some technical uh, advancement is uh, is being achieved then it will it can be patented okay thank you sir any other question i have also a question Uh, is there any provision in copyright act to copy a part from any book which is registered registered under copyright act for the public purpose or public interest for public interest can we copy a part of a book is there any provision sir i am not aware of that uh, sorry sir about that hello hello Uh, can we copy a part of a book for part public of, interest? For personal use, you can copy that. Not, but not personal use for public interest. You, for that, you you must have to take uh, written permission from the copyright holder, na? No? Okay. If you are, ah, uh, that is. That is the meaning of intellectual property right now. That he has ex uh, exclusive right, which he has copyright on any subject matter. He has some uh, exclusive right. If you want to use the part or in part or full of that material, you have to take permission from him or her. Whoever is. Thank you, sir. Now I have another question. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lot of thanks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, now uh, we have come to the last part of today's webinar, that is uh, vote of thanks. It is my privilege to have been uh, asked to propose a vote of thanks on this occasion. I, on the behalf of the Bhattar College Dhaton, want to give vote of thanks to our speaker, Mr. Shubham Har Singh, examiner of patent. and design ipo kolkata to agree to deliver a lecture on a topic which is almost unknown for us thanks sir thank for your lucid presentation so that we the teachers will benefited in our research career and the student will be benefited in their future academic journey then i like to deliver sincere gratitude to mrs shobha dot ma'am examiner of the patent and designer uh, Patent Office, Kolkata. She has been helped all the possible ways so that we can smoothly organize the webinar. Thank you, ma'am. Then I would like to thank our principal, sir, Dr. Pavitra Kumar Mishra, for enthusiastic support in all the respects. A special thanks to all the professors, teachers, and the non-teaching staffs who blessed us with their presence and took out valuable time. of their busy schedule i must mention our keep sense of appreciation to dr dilip kumar doli for acting as a president in this program last but not the least i thank to our beloved student for their constant attention in this online program with this vote of thanks and with the permission of the president i want to stop this webinar here thank you thank you all for your participation thank you everyone thank you so much Now, uh, presidents of the program, to declare the closing of the webinar. Uh, before closing, I have a question to speaker. Okay, Hello, I am audible. Yes, yes. How we get in global level? a uh, patent rights or or uh, intellectual patent pro uh, property rights who each organization on uh, permits as on what criteria please enlight this sir in india if you have to apply for a patent there is patent office in four locations in uh, patent office kolkata 
patent office delhi patent office mumbai and patent office chennai you have to apply here here you can apply online or you can apply offline as well it is a global acceptance all no if you have applied in india the jurisdiction of that patent will be uh, in india only if you have to apply for in many countries there is another route you can go to wipo there is a uh, intellectual property organization world intellectual property organization you can apply from there pct route thank you your valuable suggestion i as a president dr dilip kumar dolui close the seminar thank you okay thank you everyone okay Thank you. 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 Thank you.